of Kentucky. Department of Theater and Dance presents the Tony-nominated musical Bright Star, April 7th through April 10th. Joining us now is Department Chair Tony Hardin and Director of Bright Star, Stephen Rentmore. Thanks for being with us, Thank guys. You for us. Thanks for having us. So tell us about Bright Star. For I mean, it's a Tony-nominated musical, star-studded, so a, a lot of people are familiar with it, but for those who aren't, what is it about? Sure. The, the Two important things for our message is, first of all, that it's a bluegrass musical, so the mm -hmm. entire soundtrack is within the bluegrass feel, and it's written by Steve Martin, that Steve Martin, yes. and Eddie Brickell. Uh, so Steve Martin's written the book, so it's really funny, it's humane, and at the heart of it is a true story of the Iron Mountain Baby, which is uh, then made into a folk story about a baby who was found in bulrushes underneath uh, a railway bridge on the Missouri River had been thrown from a train and then was brought up by the two people who found him and became famous in about 1900. So it's a story that becomes a song that becomes a collaboration between Steve Martin and Eddie Brickell uh, on an album in about 2013 that then becomes a musical in 2015 which is now arriving on our stage. And Steve Martin's incredible with some of the stuff he's been doing. He loves that field. He loves bluegrass right. music, so it continues to turn out a lot of stuff. So, but, but to get it here in Lexington, that's quite the honor, right? It's a thrill to be able to do it and also to be working with our extraordinarily talented students, both the technical students and our performing students, to tell this story, a story that has a music that belongs to them and connecting them to that sense of place that is Kentucky, that is Appalachia, that is the, um, the bluegrass, it seems to me a really important part of their education. Yeah. Speaking of the performance, and we're, we were talking earlier about being able to be back on stage, what has it been like? What has the process been like? I know y'all are in tech rehearsals now, planning for more performances. Right. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'll start with it, and I'll, I'll hand it over to Stephen, but um, this process started last summer mm -hmm. in terms of uh, getting the rights to do the musical and getting all the people in place. Um, getting the musical director, um, you know, and just the vocal director, choreographer, Steven as director, um, and then, you know, auditioning the show with the students back in um, November? Yeah, November, November, December. Yeah, and so then, you know, it's been, a, it's been a long process, but then, you know, rehearsals began February 1st, and you can talk about that. Yeah, so w one of the things we started to do was just gently uh, bring them in, start them working on songs, but really you're not working intensely so that there's breathing space, there's fresh air and a rotation, and just so that we build in structures to protect the students' well-being, mm -hmm. the well-being of the show, and also to bring everybody back into the experience of rehearsing, mm -hmm. because we haven't formally been on stage in this way um, for a musical for nearly two years, but we've had shows in uh, the entire of our academic year starting back in uh, October. October with the Thanksgiving play right. and we did uh, the Laramie Project in, in October uh, aired in November and then um, we did a dance concert with the School of Music and, um, and our, dance, uh, our dance majors and um, we did an original play called Black Lives Matter um, 16, 19 to now and now we're doing Bright Star. So we've been producing all along this year um, and even during the pandemic, uh, earlier in the pand pandemic, uh, we had two live dance concerts uh, outdoors, mm -hmm. and yeah. so our students, although we've been we've been cra practicing the art and craft of theater and dance, this is the first musical that we've done, right. um, you know, in the pandemic. And so it, there are there have been some challenges, uh, but at the same time, we've been working through those, and everybody is really excited to be back on stage. Our audiences have been really receptive, and we're looking forward to putting on a show for the city of Lexington and the campus community. Speaking of the show, when when is the show? So April, uh, we open Thursday, two days from now, April seventh through the through the tenth. Uh, shows at seven thirty on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, and we have two matinees: one on Saturday at two, and one at Sunday at two. Um, and I think the ticket information is on the screen, but you can get tickets at uh, Singletary Center for the Arts. Uh, dot com, or excuse me, uh, scfatix.com, and um, there you go. All right, well, thank, thank you. you. It's great to, to see you all back on stage and be able to put performances together. So thank I you know so much. plenty of people thank are looking forward to that. Great. Thank you.